Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel and watching this video today. Excuse the noise back here. It's February, so we got some hearts up. So today I'm gonna talk about poop. So I'm gonna show you how I use my diaper sprayer and our setup, and I hope it proves helpful to you. If this is your first time trying to figure out what to do with poop, you're in the right place. So if your baby is not yet on solids and your baby is exclusively breastfed, you are in the best place possible for cloth diapering and poop. Babies that are exclusively breastfed, their poop is actually water soluble, so you don't necessarily have to do anything with their poop. You can just throw it in the wash and it should break down just from the water itself. We personally rinse poop out just as a rule. Uh, we weren't as strict as we are now, as I'll show you how our system goes. So if your baby is on formula or a mix of breast milk and formula, then you do have to make sure that you wash poop out of inserts properly. Why do you need to wash poop out? Well, poop on inserts or liners or wipes, they clog the pores of those materials. And after a while, you will start to have problems with stink and a washing machine just won't properly wash out those inserts, wipes, liners, or anything. For a pristine wash routine, you need to make sure that there is no poop on diapers and diaper accessories before they go into your wash. So your pre-wash is mostly targeted at poop, and then your main wash helps to ensure a better clean. So you do need that pre-wash and that main wash. So in this video, I touch on a wash routine and why it's so important. So let's just get back to the poop. One of the struggles that we got to once our son started solids at about six months was how to deal with the poo. When you look online, there's a lot of different methods. So the most popular ones that I saw were the dunk and swish. So you take the insert or the liner and you basically put it into the toilet and you dunk it and then you swish it off with the hopes that most of the poop will just fall into the toilet. This is what we do when we're out and about if we don't have access to a diaper sprayer. So if we're at grandma's house or in a public washroom. Some people use a spatula of some sort. They'll just scrape the poop right into the toilet. Again, it works. We've done it. I went about four months doing the spatula thing until my husband was like, do you feel like you need to suffer every time Liam poops? Like, why? Why don't you just buy a diaper sprayer? And I honestly convinced myself it was a luxury item. If you've seen any of my other videos, I try to just buy what is necessary. Thankfully, my husband just said, enough is enough, we're getting a diaper sprayer. Anyway, here's how we set up our diaper sprayer. I'll just show you in this video. So as you can see, our diaper sprayer is hooked up to our toilet. And these are our pails. So these are just five gallon pails. And as you can see, one of them has a hole cut out at the bottom of it. And this second one acts as a holder. So here's the actual sprayer. My husband set it up, so I don't have many tips about that. But here is where you would turn it on and off. I always turn it off after I'm done using it to avoid any leaks from built up pressure. And so this is how you would use this. Excuse me for using one hand, so it's a bit shaky. But you take that top pail with the hole cut out, you put it into the toilet with the seat up, and it'll just sit in there like that. So these clamps I use to hold any dirty items. So this is a clean liner that I'm using as an example. So I'll just show you how I spray it. So I've turned the sprayer on, as you remember. And then I would just spray downwards. So you want all the poop to spray into the toilet. So then I'll unclamp my sprayed off item and I just throw it into that bottom pail there just to get all my dirty items in one place. And then I'll just spray all the other items as I need to. But hopefully if all goes well, you only need to spray a liner. So what you need is your diaper sprayer and it has to be compatible to your toilet. You'll need a pail of some sort. And then we bought some clamps to hold a liner or a wipe or the diaper, whatever we need to spray. Some people have said that they just use their shower head and they'll just spray poop down the drain. 
I would just advise a word of caution, not from personal experience yet, because we hadn't done this, but I've read in a lot of places who should be designated to the toilets. The pipes are just wired differently. Pipes are bigger for toilets. If poop is going down your shower drain or your sink drain, it's just a matter of time before it would clog. With that being said, after we use our diaper sprayer, we spray as much as we can into the toilet. Whatever we can't get out with the sprayer, I would will just by hand just scrub them out in the bathroom sink and I think stuff like that is fine but they're not huge chunks. So in another one of my videos I talk about liners and liners are important because they protect your inserts from poop. Some people do use disposable liners. You basically just pick up a poop and you just chuck it in the toilet and you're good to go. Anyway, I feel like I've covered it all, but I'm not sure. If you have any questions, you can comment below. You can follow me on Instagram at fluffbuttmama and you can DM me. I would love to try to give you a hand. I would totally recommend the diaper sprayer. It is not a luxury item. It's a very helpful tool. You're gonna to be cleaning poop at least once a day. You might as well make it a little bit easier on yourself. So thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. And thank you for subscribing to our channel. If you'd like, there's a playlist that I have been making about all things cloth diapers. So if you're curious about more of my cloth diapering tips, just give that a gander. Thanks again, and I hope you have a really good day.